Good evening, yes, friends. Welcome to daily editorial analysis brought by Shankara Yes Academy. Today's date is 1st of March 2025. So, these are the two important editorial articles we are going to discuss today. The first article is about the wetland conservation. What are the significance and challenges in wetland conservation? So, this article is taken from Hindu newspaper. The second article is about the AI revolution and what India should do to lead the AI world and what India can do to dominate the AI infrastructure. So, this article is taken from Indian Express newspaper. These are the two articles we are going to discuss in this video. Now, let us get into the discussion. Now, look at this article. It is talking about the significance of wetland and what are the challenges faced by wetlands both globally and in India. See, wetlands are most productive ecosystems on earth providing a range of ecological, economic and social benefits. They also act as natural buffers against climate change and high biodiversity. They also provide critical ecosystem services, for example, the groundwater recharging, the flood control and carbon sequestration. But many challenges are being faced by wetlands like rapid urbanization, industrialization and climate change. So, this has led to a significant wetland degradation both globally and in India. So, in this context, let us discuss about the wetland conservation and what are the challenges in it. First, let us see about the types of wetlands. There are two types of wetland, natural wetlands and human made wetlands. In natural wetlands, we have two subdivisions, inland wetland and coastal wetland. Lakes, rivers, floodplains, peatlands and marshes come under the inland wetlands. For example, the lakes like Ular Lake, Loktak Lake are inland wetlands. Then there are coastland wetlands, mangroves, estuaries, lagoons, coral reefs and salt marshes belong to the coastland wetlands. For example, the Sundarbans and Chilka Lake come under the coastland wetland. So, this inland and coastal wetlands are natural wetlands. Then there are another type called human made wetlands. The reservoirs, dams and irrigation tanks are also wetlands. The salt pans, aquaculture ponds and rice paddies are also come under the definition of wetlands. For example, the Kutanad wetland in Kerala, it is a large rice paddy and also low laying field and this also comes under the definition of wetland. Now, let us see about the significance of wetland. Firstly, they are biodiversity hotspots. See, wetlands support 40 percentage of world's species and they are also critical for migratory birds. They also regulate the climate and act as a carbon sink. This is because they store a vast amount of carbon. Next is water purification and groundwater recharge. Wetlands filter the pollutants and improve the water quality. Thereby, they maintain the aquifers. There is a question ab about this in previous prelims here. Next about the flood control and disaster mitigation. See, wetlands observe excess rainfall and prevent the soil erosion. Regarding the cultural and economic significance, they also sustain millions of people through fisheries, agriculture, aquaculture and ecotourism. So, these are the important significance of wetlands. Now, let us see about the Ramsar Convention and World Wetlands Day. Ramsar Convention is a only global treaty which is focused on the wetland conservation. It is a designation of Ramsar sites all over the world and they are also called as the wetlands of international importance. February 2 is celebrated as the World Wetlands Day. Now, let us see about the status of wetlands in India. See, India has 85 Ramsar sites, that is the wetlands of international importance and they cover over 13.5 million hectares. So, these are the newly added wetlands in India. The Tawa Reservoir of Madhya Pradesh, Kaluveli Bird Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu, Nanjarayan Bird Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu and the largest Ramsar site in India is Sundarbans wetland which is in West Bengal. And the smallest Ramsar site is Renuga wetland in Himachal Pradesh. The state with most Ramsar sites is Tamil Nadu, which has 18 Ramsar sites. So, these are some important facts about wetlands in India. Now, look at this table. This is about the important wetlands in India. Now, let us see about the threats to Indian wetlands. The most important one is encroachment and urbanization. See, 30 percentage of India's natural wetlands are lost due to infrastructure expansion. The pollution and industrial waste also play a major threat to wetlands. The toxic runoff from industries and sewage contamination also challenges the conservation of wetlands. The new problems like unregulated tourism and over exploitation of wetlands also disturb the wildlife and ecosystem balance in the wetlands. Regarding the national efforts to conserve wetlands, wetland conservation and management rules was adopted in 2017 and it gives a legal protection framework to the wetlands in India. Then there is a national plan for conservation of aquatic ecosystem. The central government is funding these projects for wetland restoration. The state wetland authorities who are decentralized governance, they also help in conservation of wetlands. The Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitats and Tangible Incomes, shortly called as the Mishti Initiative, 
it focuses particularly on the mangrove conservation so they also contribute to the wetland conservation in india so these are some of the national efforts in conserving the wetlands and this is a main question regarding this topic wetlands are the kidneys of our landscape filtering pollution and sustaining life their conservation is not a choice but a necessity critically analyze this statement so this statement is previous prelims year question and try to answer this using our uh, points from discussion so with this let us conclude the discussion and move to the next news article now look at this article the rapid advancement in artificial intelligence have redefined the global technological dominance so many nations are striving to lead the ai ecosystem the recent emergence of deep seek ai which is an open source ai model and this has rivaled the open ai chat gpt4 so this underscores the shifting balance of ai power so this development highlights the urgency for india not just to participate in ai development but also to take a leadership role in ai research so this is what this article is talking about in this context let us discuss about the importance of ai in india's technological and economic future ai driven automation and innovation can add 500 billion dollars to india's gdp by 2025 enhancing the efficiency in the industries like manufacturing health care and agriculture also the importance of ai ai enabled solutions will also generate new employment opportunities in data science cyber security and robotics AI is also crucial for cyber security defense and intelligence gathering the nations with the ai dominance will shape the global policy and military strategy the success of deep seek ai shows that ai development is no longer just about the innovation but also the national security and sovereignty now let us discuss about the strategic measures which can lead to ai leadership for india the first important strategic measure is investing in ai research and development so increasing the government spending on ai research and development in order to match with the global leaders like us and china we have to establish ai focused centers for excellence in premier institution like iits we should also promote the public private partnership with the leading tech firms so they can lead to the ai innovation and research and development integrating ai machine learning and data science can mainstream the education from school to university levels so mainstreaming the education and adapting the ai based education and integrating ai machine learning and data science up to university level can also build a strong and skilled workforce for ai development offering ai related skill development programs under government institutes like skill india program can also build a strong ai skilled workforce strengthening the industry academia collaboration to align the ai training with the market needs so building a, a skilled ai workforce is essential for india to take a leadership in ai development The next important measure is strengthening AI infrastructure and computer power. We should invest in a high performance AI computing clusters and cloud infrastructure. We should also develop India's own semiconductor and AI chip manufacturing ecosystem. So this will reduce our dependence on imports. We should also ensure the data localization and secure AI models to enhance sovereignty over AI innovations. So these are the important measures we have to take to develop AI infrastructure in India. Now this is a road map for India's AI dominance. First establishing India AI mission, a national AI strategy with dedicated funding and policies and R&D infrastructure is essential for India's dominance in artificial intelligence. Next is boosting AI industry collaboration. We have to incentivize AI adoption in healthcare, agriculture, education and governance. We should also develop India's AI supercomputing capability. We should set up indigenous cloud computing and semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem. Next about the collaboration with the global leaders. We should partner with US, European Union and Japan to shape India's AI regulation and trade. Next about encouraging artificial intelligence for public good. AI driven solutions for rural development, environmental sustainability and smart cities can also enhance the development of AI in India. So India stands at an important historical point where AI will determine its future economic and technological position. With the global AI competition which is intensifying rapidly, India must act to invest in AI research and development. We should also develop the talent pool and infrastructure needed for AI dominance. The next decade will be decided by whether India leads the AI revolution or remains dependent on the global players. So this is the main question regarding this topic. Interested aspirants can use it. And if you write the answer, post it in the comment section. So with this, let us conclude the discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.